Hello, dear. Hello. Can you hear uh, me? Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you just fine. Right. Um, and let me introduce uh, Yu Shan. Uh, she's a researcher, um, also working on V Taiwan at the moment. Uh, and Hi. so, yeah, why don't Great you take a chair here uh, yeah. or something? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, how Very are you going? Exciting. It's going quite well. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Um, I mean, so we're recording this, right? Yes, and I'll send you yeah. a video. And if you like the video to be published as is, we'll just do that. Otherwise, we can do a transcript too. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to publish the video. Awesome. Uh, the more transparency, the better in life. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, that's great. So it's great to meet you. I'm a big fan of your work, both on the outside and then and then having gone into government. Um, and I think we have a few mutual friends like, like Jeff Bogan mm -hmm. and Colin and others. Um, so uh, I'll give you just the very sort of top line of the situation uh, and what we're thinking of doing. And then it would just be good to get your advice, um, any reflections from your own experience, um, things that you learned along the way, and um, things that didn't work as well as things that did work. Uh, so, um, you know, the situation is as follows. Um, the, the, the Labour Party is the principal opposition party in the UK. Um, I'm a long-standing member. I was a candidate previously to be General Secretary of the party on a sort of outsider uh, manifesto of um, democracy and, and movement organizing and that sort of thing, uh, obviously got knocked out in 2011. Um, uh, but now I am one of the, probably the main contenders. Um, there is um, unresolved tension uh, in the labor movement as a whole. Uh, uh, there are sort of historic uh, splits and divisions, mm -hmm. uh, which have been um, pretty effectively papered over uh, after a very impressive mm -hmm. movement-driven performance by Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party in the snap general election last year. Um, but now there is sort of stagnation in the in the polls for the most part. Um, uh, so, and, and, you know, obviously there is a bureaucracy and there are you know, factions, and there are all sorts of uh, those sorts of things going on. P people aren't really having constructive discussions or arguments. They aren't always saying what they really think or feel. Mm -hmm. uh, they are using categories to define each other, uh, which don't really reflect the um, the underlying complexities. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I, I'm somebody who's been uh, passionate about deep democracy and deliberation uh, for, you know, 20 plus years, uh, more or less since I saw the internet <laughs> and um, I've been trying various different things and following various different innovations. And it seems to me that what you've done uh, with V-Taiwan is one of the more interesting examples, uh, it, particularly for being able to represent uh, a diversity of views uh, and then to start to move towards loose consensus and then to be practical as well. So, so that's why I'm excited. Uh, and yet we're, we're looking at launching a bottom up digital democracy and deliberation platform for the labor movement uh, in the next 24 hours here in the UK. Um, under the banner of labordemocracy.net. Um, uh, and, um, and we want to use Polis. And, uh, and I'd love your advice about how to go about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so what, what's the uh, people you're going to reach uh, with labordemocracy.net? Is it restricted to party members or pretty much anyone? Well, we're an MVP initially, mm -hmm. so uh, we won't restrict access. Uh, the distribution, the sort of um, uh, uh, driving of people into the platform will mm -hmm. be primarily through labor-related networks. Um, uh, so it will be mostly, I think, people who are either members or supporters of mm -hmm. the Labour Party, mm -hmm. although there will be a little more diversity in the mix mm -hmm. and probably a bit of wrecking behavior awesome. <laughs> or attempts so, at wrecking behavior. So what would behavior. be the binding mechanism? I mean, if you have a mm -hmm. like outstanding controversies or outstanding consensus, who will be bound to go over them one by one, presumably in a live stream fashion? Um, that's interesting. And I, can you expand on what you mean there? Because I don't well, quite because, understand. Because the way V Taiwan use polis, uh, it is yes. not uh, representative. It is more of a representation. 
of、yes. uh, what people care about and allow us to suppress、yes. the minority opinions that nevertheless、uh, <coughs> should have been more amplified or discussed、yes. um, among the general populace. It also let people see that there are broad consensus, whereas in other、yeah. online forums, the, the most controversial or the most, as you said, categorical、uh, or labeling、uh, part tend to uh, needlessly um, use people's attention. So、um, in our experience, the way to reward consensus. To to speak of、uh, is just to promise to、um, give a a binding discussion、uh, where the agenda、uh, is set by the global consensus as well as the within、uh, inner group consensus. And so that,、yes. for example, the I don't know party、um, people will use that as their their. Debate platform, or whether、yes. they will go over it in a sort of synthetic、uh, document or, or whatever. That 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 is what I mean by a binding mechanism. I understand.、Yeah. I understand. You're basically talking about how the, the outcome of the、used. process、yeah. is landed into decision making,、right. um, which I agree is very important.、Mm -hmm. um, let me answer that question indirectly and then directly.、Sure. Um, so the indirect answer is as follows. There has been a, a long process over, you know, more than a year、um, uh, of a sort of a working group、uh, linked to the party around、uh, digital democracy、um, and discussion on pilots、uh, related to the economic agenda and various other things,、uh, which would be sponsored by the party and and by its political leadership.、Uh, These、uh, discussions have thus far come to nothing、um, uh, through for for a variety of reasons.、Um, uh, principally, I, I believe inertia、uh, rather than any sort of malice. Um, uh, but um,、uh, you know, inertia is a, <laughs> an iron law in institutions. So. Um, uh, so obviously, you know, I, I know all about that, and I know the people who've been involved, and and this is a sort of a different uh, approach, um, uh, attempting to assemble in the square initially, and then bring the process into the centre of power.、Mm -hmm. um, one route for that is that I am currently one of the prominent candidates for general secretary of the party.、Um, there is a. Application and interview process, which is ongoing,、uh, will be live for the next five days.、Um, uh, through that process, we will be having an open public conversation with anybody in the labour movement who wants to get involved,、um, and I will report back on the outcome of the conversation、um, at the conclusion of the、um, process, which will determine. The next general secretary of the party, and we will have the opportunity then to carry the、uh, process of engagement forwards.、Mm. My own belief is that、um, there are both formal and informal sources of power.、Uh, so, you know, for instance, if we were to manage to engage the principal opinion forces,、uh, opi opinion formers,、uh, many of the elected representatives. Uh, in such a process,、uh, then it, it starts to build up its own kind of social power.、Um, although, you know, my, my intention is to offer to the party a、um, uh, a kind of formal、uh, engagement between it and this.、Um, but、uh, my expectation is that the inertia of the party will mean that there will have to be a process of exploration about the relationship, for instance, between. Uh, the national executive committee of the party, its national policy forum, and this rather more free-flowing space.、Mm -hmm. um, so that's the thought process. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So there's a short-term、uh, binding process where you essentially crowdsource、um, your interview、um, content over the next five days. Uh, sort of. I'm not linking it so directly to the <laughs> interview process. I'm respecting the interview process, but we're going to have an open conversation along the way. No, but, but amplifying, right? Ma making making、yeah. clear,、uh, and I、yeah. imagine that you will、um, put as as your seed comments, right, as the initial uh, polis um, statements. Mm. The statements that you either care very deeply about, or the statement that you feel that will be controversial enough to warrant a a discussion, right? So, so I mean that this is the short term use of polis.、Um, but、uh, what what we've learned so far is that it really takes a few weeks,、um, two to three weeks at least, 
for people to come up with really innovative um, statements yes. that resonates with a large group of people. Uh, so what you're uh, essentially saying is that by the time people <coughs> do that and hopefully reach sufficient number of people, it will form by itself a soft power that lets the party uh, engage with the top consensus or the most controversial items uh, with whatever way that you cannot uh, promise in advance, but uh, will probably um, materialize if the consultation goes well. Exactly so. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Does it sound like a good plan to you? Well, well, Yushan is a, a researcher uh, specializing in the use of in Taiwan and Polis. Uh, and by the way, is flying back to the UK. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm a PhD student uh, studying uh, at Durham University, geography <laughs> department. So my I'm yeah. embedded, I take an ethnographic approach to, to understand what's going on in B Taiwan. And also, yes. I'm Madrid in Madrid. So um, from what I've heard, of what I learned from Audrey, who is a master here, mm. um, I, do, I, do, I do agree that um, it's important to have um, a binding, at least binding or more promise result to the yeah. participants because it's it's kind of like a feedback for them so that they will yeah. they will be they will gain the sense <coughs> of achievement through through the participating. Yes. Otherwise, they would just say, "Oh, it's just participate," but they got nothing back. So what I've heard yes. here, they 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 let they let all the participants know how they are going to deal with the consensus that collected from police, and after that, yes. they will make sure the to some degree, the legislation or the related law will be yes. amended. Mm -hmm. So I, I do I do think this is somehow quite important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, yes. I think I think uh, you can successfully get people to to vote yes or no uh, to any of your statements, really. But to uh, engage people sufficiently so that they really propose something innovative, uh, that that requires a, a sense of purpose. Um, so yes. so that's the the main observation. How, however, you're yes. going to to accomplish it is of course your yes. domain knowledge. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, the, the purpose is to collectively build a healthy and successful Labour Party and movement for the next century, uh, which is a goal which is already shared among many people, uh, although they may have different versions of how to reach that goal. Um, I, I, I think what you're saying about incentives uh, is very important, and, and I really uh, agree with you about uh, giving some sort of... Um, uh, uh, I've forgotten your phrase, yeah. binding yeah. Or, or hard element to yeah. the uh, mm -hmm. uh, to the outcome of the process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think that there are other incentives. Um, uh, you know, one is the the incentive of, of basic. Uh, you know, yeah, there's a sort of very superficial thing that, that Silicon Valley talk about a lot, which is around engagement and delight. And uh, it seems to me Polis has attributes of engagement and delight, which is helpful. Uh, and I certainly know from my own work that people like answering questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is the process of sort of seek, seeking those compromise solutions, not simply a temperature check and reflection of the existing mm -hmm. system, but how do you transform the system, uh, which is the piece of this which is particularly interesting to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that there is also an unmet need and a pain point um, mm -hmm. that lots of people have in the Labour Party and the Labour movement, mm -hmm. uh, that the party is not um, living up to their hopes and dreams in terms of their lived experience of it, mm -hmm. uh, the level of um, uh, suppressed or open conflict within it and its success in the electoral uh, or the social context, and so um, uh, my, my 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 thought process uh, to begin this conversation. I take what you're saying that this will take weeks to uh, to take it to somewhere really interesting. But my thought process to begin is to ask a simple question, which might be something along the line a uh, feelings question, actually, because feelings are something that people have trouble with in life at the moment. Um, uh, which might be something like, what do we feel about our Labour Party and movement today? What's good and what what's more difficult um, and then get people to surface their feelings about what's good and what's more difficult uh, and then see where that leaves us. We'll, we, it will, it will, we will find ourselves in tribes immediately. <laughs> and um, then, and then what do we do with so that? Colin, that, that cool process. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense. Have, uh, have Colin 
showed you um, the new uh, reporting uh, mechanism of the police system where they automatically generate um, a uh, plot diagram of this shape where you can see the most controversial, the most divisive uh -huh. uh, ones at the tail end. Wow. As well yes. as the uh, most consensus making one, which was this large I've, group at the other end, as well as. I've heard uh, about this, yeah. but I haven't seen it. That's, that looks beautiful. Right. So, <laughs> so right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think that's part of the delight. Uh, if, yeah. If you can show at the beginning of the police conversation that what, what your contribution will end up looking like this, and uh, so that we can discover each other better and so on. Then I think that, that's, that's, very that's an incentive of, of its own. But I think only if you make it very clear that it will become such a pretty picture of, of the uh, collective intelligence. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and, um, you know, and the, think, the thought process, that's a really good idea. I'm definitely going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the thought process is that we basically try and pull people in from right across the movement, from mm -hmm. its many different traditions. I'm in the unusual position of not having made sort of many stroke any maybe one enemy <laughs> uh, and um uh you know i, I don't believe in permanent uh, enmities anyway okay. so um uh I, okay. I i i will be engaging uh -huh. all of my different friends and old acquaintances from the different strands of the movement to try and pull them into this conversation and mm -hmm. and, and get them to articulate their their feelings uh and then we will start trying to talk about mm -hmm. solutions but that's great. Uh, I think we share your non-belief. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. I mean, it's the only way to go. Um, very good. Uh, yeah. Is there and anything you would like to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, and 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 at the philosophical level, um, I was reading some of the case studies stuff, mm -hmm. and and there seemed to be some. Uh, some Confucius stuff in there, or some Lao Tzu. Or I, I oh, yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. entirely Depends sure. What? What? Yeah. How do you think about this when you sort of zoom out from the concrete mm -hmm. uh, specifics of it and and think about the the broader context of governance in the twenty right. first well, we century? We were actually just having a discussion about that of how how egoless really is the Gov Zero movement uh, and V Taiwan by extension uh, that grow out of the Gov Zero movement. Um, you, you know, our preferred license, uh, the copyright license. It's called the Creative Commons Zero, mm. uh, which means that uh, we give away even the right to attribution or academic citation. So you can take V I one and say you made it, and I, I won't sue you. Um, and, and I think that's a, a, a uh, Yushan was just saying that it's a it's a quite a philosophical thing, uh, uh, mm. thinking that we as individuals are having to just be be vehicles uh, who um, those ideas or those consensus inhabit. Right, so so we're not the the, the heroes or protagonists. Mm -hmm. uh, it is through this process that consensus or rough consensus um, inhabits us uh, mm -hmm. through this process and this vehicle. And so I, I think this is, yes. of course, very Taoism, right? Very yeah. very Lao Tzu. Yes. Um, and and I think this really informs our decision of not fixating uh, to any particular mechanism, process, or tool, but rather focusing on a community that can continuously improve. Uh, the process itself and even the community itself, the structure, uh, the code of conduct and, and everything. Mm -hmm. So so this recursive public, quote unquote, mm -hmm. uh, I think is the, yes. the core of the, the Gov Zero movement and by extension the Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really interesting. And and um, uh, can I ask that, that I mean, there is clearly a very significant role for um, uh, the kind of leadership which opens the space um, uh, by framing the right questions and ti choosing timings and all that sort of thing. How, how do you approach that? What do you think the best practice is in relation to how these conversations are opened and facilitated? Oh yeah, how how does a, a leader lead without ruling, right? Uh, it's an old Taoist the, pe question. the people did it themselves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, um, yeah, there's this ancient tradition of describing how you do it. You do it like water, right? You go to the, the low, lowsome places and solve everybody's problems, but let them think yes. that they did it. So. So um, well, I, I, maybe they did. Yeah, right, maybe, maybe yeah, maybe they did. <laughs> yeah. So 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 yeah. I think in my work uh, as the minister in charge of uh, social entrepreneurship and social innovation, uh, my position is always that we're we're solving the problems of the problem solvers, 
but we're not solving yes. the social problems directly because the government apparatus is not the most efficient way uh, of doing this. Uh, and I, I understand you shared a, a history of social entrepreneurship. So, so the idea mm -hmm. is that the government is always in a facilitating role, always in a uh, role where it observes what is in need, what kind of regulation maybe made sense but is now causing trouble, and so on, and then have a fast, like a week iteration cycle where we just look at all the pain points and all the feedbacks from the community and uh, stay out of the way and help resolving roadblocks along the way. So that's my main leadership, quote unquote, yeah. uh, mechanism. Okay, yeah. that's very helpful. Mm -hmm. And can I just ask you to step back and, and tell me, in terms of your own kind of journey with this stuff, I mean, you, you were part of Cov Zero, and then there was the Sunflower Student Movement, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then there was government mm -hmm. <laughs> in Taiwan. Yeah. Um, can you tell me very briefly the story of that from your perspective in terms of the key junctures? Sure. Uh, I think the one of the very key juncture is that during the Sunflower Movement, um, people saw with their, their own uh, eyes that it is possible to scale uh, the experience of listening to each other. Um, it used to uh, be a, a traditional thought that the politic or the hierarchies is the way it is because um, in a room of more than 20 people, it's very difficult to form any useful decision at all. Uh, and, and so we have to uh, be structured in a hierarchy because that's just how human yeah. communication, how the wetware works, right? But, but with the simple yeah. argument, people saw that they can just randomly drop by the Occupy the Parliament, join any of the 20 NGOs uh, facilitating their, their talk on, on a particular yeah. aspect and magically have their opinion not just heard but amplified through an online mechanism that somehow become binding for tomorrow's um, synthetics. Uh, and deliberation. And so as time goes by, people see that their ideas are uh, swarmed into a, a consensus rather than just lost in the representative uh, letters. And what, once you have yeah. that experience, it's very, very difficult to go back. And personally, like since 1994, 95, uh, I was involved in the uh, internet standard making community like IETF or yeah. W3C. And in that yes. world, this kind of open multi-stakeholder deliberation where anybody gets to enter just by saying, okay, I have a stake in it, um, it is, is the norm, right? It, it's normal. And, and people manage to um, get a consensus out of hundreds or thousands of participants through the use yes. of ICT tools. So for me, it's like a, a indigenous <laughs> knowledge. And, and for me, the, the democracy representative one is something that I learned much later. So for me, it's always yes. ju just to get people into a state of mind where they can listen to each other in the way that people did in the, and still do in the internet society. Yes. Great. That was really great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to talk more at some point, but I will let you know how this goes mm -hmm. as it unfolds. Um, and I may need to ask you a question if we have a crisis or something like that ah, okay. <laughs> for your advice. But uh, thank, mm -hmm. thank you for taking the time. Um, can, we, can we also, I've forgotten your name, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Why you? We should, it's yeah. okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send yeah. you her email. Yeah. Yes, if we can be in touch, that would be great. I'm seeing Paolo Gerberto later today. I'm keen for us to plug in academics and researchers to whatever it is we do here yeah. uh, so that uh, it can be studied and uh, understood and reflected upon. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, we, we want to do this open uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> from beginning to end. <laughs> wherever the end is, wherever the end is. Exactly. <laughs> endless, yeah. endless. Yeah, it's, it's, it's we're, we're, we're just, uh, you know, vehicles where this process inhabits. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. All right. All right. Thank you. This is great. That was Cheers. really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, let me know when you have the video as well, because I want to share it with sure, you. Sure, it will be ready uh, in a few minutes. All right. Cheers. Right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.